this is our last module of the year in math. This um, module includes shapes, so we're going to be talking a little bit about this today because it's what your problem set is going to look like. So here we have three different shapes. We have a square, we have a triangle, and we have a circle. We're going to be talking about sides and something called angles, okay? So I'm going to mark the sides. So a side is any part around here that makes up the shape. So they need to be straight. So let me, um, one second here. I'm still figuring out how to do this when I am on the computer. Let's just do this. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this right here is a side. This is a side. I don't know if I did that. Oh, I see. This right here is a side. There's a side here, a side here, and a side here. So this shape has four sides, okay? Now this shape, I'm looking for straight sides. I see one side, two side, three sides. So this shape has three sides. Now I look over here, circle. I'm looking for sides. Now a side is something that's straight. This is straight, it's just on an angle, right? If I was to turn my computer, it could be up and down. It's still straight. Nothing is straight here. So a circle has zero sides. Now we're gonna talk about something called angles. We're gonna use these two words kind of interchangeably. So an angle or a vertice, I'm gonna zoom in here. Um, let's see, how do I do that? View, zoom, okay. I'm gonna zoom all the way in. All right, this right here, this area right here, is what we call an a um. Well, there's a couple of things. It's what we call an angle. So hold on, let me get this here so you can see what I'm talking about. What did I want to do? I wanted to do. Okay, this right here, this inside part here is called an angle, okay? This is something you're gonna worry about more when you get into the upper grade. So just know for now, inside of a corner, right? This is like a corner, this is called an angle. This point here, we don't really call it a corner. The math word is vertice. So for our sake, we're gonna use the word vertice and angle as like kind of the same thing for now. So if you hear someone saying how many angles are in the shape or how many vertices, it's talking about the corners. So how many corners? Because the angle is on the inside. Again, you'll learn about that later, so don't worry about that too much for now. And vertices is another word for the point. So if I want to see how many vertices erase this, are in my square, I'm going to go to where two sides meet is where a vertice is. So I see one, two, three four, there are four vertices, Ooh. angles. On your paper today, they're gonna call them angles, just so you know. Over here, I see one, two, three vertices. Okay, and then over here, there are no points because there are no sides. So there are zero vertices or angles. And if you notice, the number of sides and the number of vertices or angles is usually the same. It's usually the same because it's always the same. So if your shape has six sides, it has six angles. It's important that you're still counting the angles because you're going to probably need to at some point identify what an angle is or draw a line to an angle. So it's important to know. But just so you know, it's the same. So if you have four sides, you should have four angles. Sides are two straight or is a straight part that meets up with another part, and then a vertice or an angle is the quote-unquote corner where two sides meet. So keep this in mind today to help you with your math page.